Hey, this is a tutorial on the Bootstrap 3 grid system, and I know what you're thinking. Do we really need another Bootstrap grid system tutorial? I'm going to go into what I consider to be a pretty standard use case, and uh, let's get into that right now. First, I'm just showing you what we're going to be working towards, and I want you to notice a couple things. First of all, there's two columns. Uh, they're centered in the page, although I don't want you to get distracted by the fact that they're centered in the page, but they have a certain width. And I want you to watch as I compress the window, the width is going to um, be relative to the window size until we hit a certain threshold, which is coming, 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 watch for it. And there it is. See that right there? It got wider. And then as we compress a little bit more, it got wider again. So there was another threshold that we passed. And then as we get yet more narrow, another threshold was passed and now they become stacked. So what is going on here basically is that the grid system is fluid. So how do we accomplish this? I'm going to start off by looking at a more simple example. And this actually will allow us to, have a, to demonstrate all the concepts that were going on in that other grid. Now as I compress this, we're going to have the exact same thing happening. As I compress it, as soon as I hit a threshold, it's, you're going to see it go wide again right there. See that? So there's the threshold, and then we'll have another threshold, and then we'll have a final threshold where it's full screen. Okay. So if you look in uh, the Bootstrap documentation under the grid system, you'll see that there are these thresholds that we hit are here, 1200 pixels, 992 pixels, and 768 pixels. And Bootstrap refers to these as large, LG, medium, MD, and small, SM. And then if you want to style the smallest one, it's, an, it's XS. These are the widths, these are these thresholds that we're hitting here. And one thing about working with columns in Bootstrap, the grid system, is that you're not controlling the width precisely. It's, it's a relative width, but you're able to control the width within those four screen sizes. So the grid system, the way that it works is that there are 12 columns. The screen is always divided up into 12 vertical columns. So we go up to here and then in the middle would be six and then it goes over to 12. So you can specify how many columns you want your content to take up. And in this case, what I have is in the large mode, it's taking up four columns. This is four columns. But then when we get down to the medium size, We'll see this expand. The medium size, I have it six columns. And then in the small si uh, size, I have eight columns. And then finally, when we get to extra small, which is 768, it fills up all 12 columns. And filling up all 12 columns is the default, so you don't actually have to specify that. Now let's look at the code for this. So don't get too distracted by this panel code. This is just the contents inside it. It's just a panel, so we have something to look at. But basically, everything is right here. Now, before you start doing columns, you have to have two container classes. First of all, you need a container, which may you may already have defined in um, some of the bootstrap examples. You set your body class to be a container or container fluid. And I'm not going to get into container versus container fluid, but suffice it to say that container fluid fills up the whole width of the screen. And when I'm doing columns, I generally use container fluid. Now, you do need to specify a row and then end the row. And then within, the, within that row, this is where you have your columns. Now, I have given this thing three classes because I've told it uh, when we are in the large screen, I want it to have four columns. When we're in the medium screen, I want it to have six, and we're in small, I want it to have eight. So the format for this is col dash, and then the two letter abbreviation, and then another dash, and then the number of columns you want it to uh, take up. So let's change this just so we can see it. So in large size, I'm going to give it six columns, so that'll be half the screen. In the medium mode, we'll have it take up eight columns. And in the small mode, we'll have it take up 10 columns. And we'll see if we can see those, if, if we can see that change. So this is the large screen. Six columns is half of the page. 
Now as we go across the threshold into the medium size there, that went to, what did I give that, eight, I think. So now it's eight columns. And then when we cross the threshold into the small, we now have 10. And then when we get to the extra small, I didn't specify anything, so it's the full 12 columns. Okay, so the next thing is how do you get things to be centered? And the way that Bootstrap does that is that you can actually offset columns. So you can essentially tell something you want it to be pushed over to the right. Now in the case of the large screen, it's filling up six. So if I wanted this to be centered on the page, um, I have six columns of content and then I have six columns of nothing. So I would really want to pad it by three columns. So I'd have three columns on the left and then my six columns and then my three columns on the right, that would equal 12 columns. So what I can do is I can say, you basically just after your size LG, you say offset, and then how many columns you want it to be offset. So in the large size, now we have an offset of three columns, and then we're taking up six columns, and then we have three sort of undefined columns here and what happens is if you go over 12, then they just wrap to the next row. And that's kind of how the mobile... So now when I compress the screen, though, it's not going to be centered when we hit the medium size. Because we didn't, I didn't give it an offset for medium. So in that case, we've got the large and we've got the large offset. We've got the medium, but we don't have a medium offset. So I'm going to set the medium offset. Since we have 8 columns, and then 12 minus 8 is 4, and half of that is 2, I'm going to set the medium offset to 2, and I'll show you what I mean there. So there's our threshold right there. So we basically have 1, 2 columns of uh, offset, and then we have 8 columns of content, and then there's room for 2 more here, but we're not using those. We haven't specified anything for the small, so it doesn't center either. So if we wanted to make this completely consistent, then we would, for the small size, we would have to offset that as well. And since we've used up 10 columns, 12 minus 10 is 2, and half of that is 1. So we only want to offset it by one column for the small size. So let's check that out when it gets to small size there. Basically we have one column and then we have ten columns of content and then we have one column of unused space. We're now ready to go back and look at that first example that I showed you. Now what I've done here basically is everything that we've just looked at it's exactly the same except I have two columns. So you can see my two columns here this first one is a little bit more interesting than the second one. So the first one I have a, it's in the small size, it's six columns wide. There's no offset when it's in the small size because it's six and then six. So that's the full 12, so no offset is needed. Now for medium, it's five columns so, and five columns here. So um, that leaves us with two columns. So what I have done is I have offset the first column by one and notice I haven't offset the second column though. And then for the large size, it's four columns and offset by two. And then the second column is just four columns. And we'll see that when I go into the large mode, which we are here. So we have two columns of offset, four columns of content, four col columns of concept, two more columns of unused space. Okay, so just to wrap it up, I've basically showed you the grid system, how to get things to appear the size you want, how to make them responsive, how to push columns, offset them, and with that you should be able to do just about any kind of grid that you would want to use on your site. So I thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.